So our next speaker up is uh, Vojta Jinna. Uh, he likes uh, funky jazz, and he has a very action-packed talk. He's probably going to run right to the middle or to the end. Um, so he probably won't have questions, um, and we'll just go right on into the, uh, into the next talk right after he's done. So um, here you go. Great. Thank you. Thanks. So this conference is about automation and testing, right? So I assume you guys are one of those crazy people who try to automate everything, right? Even if it takes more time than doing it manually, we write a script for it because that's what we believe in, right? And that's cool. I mean, Angular team, we are the same. Like, we basically try to automate everything. So from simple things like uh, automatic deployment to, uh, to the website to things like, you know, we have CI server and whenever I push some code to GitHub, it automatically builds Angular, runs all the tests on different browsers, you know, and screams at me if it fails. Or every release has a changelog. You know, that's basically, that's basically a list of changes, like list of new features, bug fixes, breaking changes. And you know what? We generate even that. Like we have a, we have a convention for Git messages, and then there's a script that basically generates the change log based on the Git history. Or my favorite example is Angular Docs. So let, let, me, actually, let me actually show you the docs. It's... Um, if you go to docs.angularjs.org, there is uh, Angular documentation. And this is, for instance, uh, API docs for ng-click, which is a directive in Angular. And down here, here is an example. Here is a source code for that example. And then there is a live preview or like demo where you can actually play with it and see how it works. Right? Cool. I mean, of course, the whole documentation is generated automatically. But the thing I want to show you is the second tab, which says into and test. And that is, that is basically an example for you how you could possibly test such a code, right? Like into and test for that. But what do we do with that? We extract all these tests, and then we run them do, as a part of the build. Let me show you that. So it looks like something like this. And you can see. It's basically going through the whole documentation and checking whether all these examples still works. And this is really awesome because before we did this, it would be like all the time it would happen like someone would email me like, hey man, your docs example for HTTP doesn't work. And I'd be like, oh cool. I even didn't know that there was an example for that. You know? But now with this, like you don't have to think about it. Like if and if you break it, it will scream at you. So we basically try to automate everything. Let me, let me kill this guy. And we do testing a lot. We rely on testing a lot. And therefore, we want to make sure that our testing story is really efficient. And that's pretty much why we did Karma, which is, I would say, a test run that fits our needs because we, did, we made it for ourselves. And that's what I want to show you now. I want to show you this test runner that we used to, to test Angular and pretty much to test any JavaScript. So let's do demo. <clears throat> so Karma is a NPM package. So assuming you have Node.js, you can install it through NPM install Karma. And then first thing you need in order to start, you need a configuration file, which is basically for Karma to know about your project, basically where are the files of the project, uh, what browsers you want to use, which testing framework you're using, and stuff like that. To make it simple, you can generate, you can generate uh, this config file by Karma in it, and it would ask you a couple of questions like what testing framework you want to use, and you know, which browsers and stuff like that. And it will generate the config file for you. Or if you are using Grunt, do you know guys Grunt.js? It's a really awesome task runner for JavaScript. So if you are using Grunt, 
you can, uh, there's a ground plugin for Karma that allows you to configure Karma through ground and you don't need this configuration file at all. All right, for this demo, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be using Angular codebase, uh, which already has this config file, so we can start it. I can do Karma start and What's happening in the background, it starts a browser that I, I told in the config file that I want to be using. And you know, we can forget about the browser for now. But the important thing is that there is a real browser in the background that Karma will use to actually execute a task. And that's some that's something I want to actually talk about because you know, you can execute, uh, you can test JavaScript even without browsers. You could do like on Node.js and Rhino. But for us, it was really crucial to use real browsers because if you know Angular, there's tons of like components and custom directives and stuff, and that's tons of DOM manipulation. And we need the DOM API. We need to test these things. So we need real browser for that. Plus, you know, there are so many inconsistencies between different browsers, and honestly, JavaScript itself as a language, it's not that bad. It's pretty consistent. But the DOM API, that's what you know, most of the issues are. And so again, for us, we need real browsers. Plus, third thing, there is a good advantage. Um, once you're using real browsers, it basically communicates, uh, communicates through HTTP and WebSockets. So it means you can use any browser. Like you can, you can test your phone, your tablet, TV, PlayStation, whatever you want, whatever you want. Okay, let's let's go to source code. And another thing that hap that's happening in the background is that Karma is now watching all the source files of my project. And whenever I here is like cache factory some service in Angular, it's not that important what it is. But I'm gonna save the file. Just you know, just press Command S, and you can see that Karma immediately see that and st starts executing all the tests. And you can see it executed over 1,800 of unit tests in like three seconds on the real browser, right? And I mean, three seconds is not that bad, but if you have a huge project, it can, it can be more. And our goal is to get this instant feedback so that I can run these tests all the time. Because what I really do during development is like, I want to run these tests on every safe. And that's why we have this feature, um, we call it dDescribe and iit. Um, do you know, on the right side, that's my test. I'm not sure if you recognize the syntax. It's a Jasmine testing framework. So I should mention that Karma is agnostic of testing framework. You can use it with any testing framework you like, pretty much. There is adapter for QUnit, Mocha, Jasmine, and Node Unit and stuff. We on Angular are using Jasmine. That's why this example is in Jasmine, but you can use anything else. And describe in Jasmine basically means like defining a test suite, you know, list of suites. And it means defining a single test. And what I can do, I can focus these things. So I can do, I can put dDescribe, and now when I save, you can see it immediately executes just this suite. So it's even faster, right? Like now it executed only 24 of these 1800 unit tests, and it was like, I don't know, a few milliseconds. And so the goal is, and the, the, the thing why this is important is that it gives you like a new workflow. It, it's basically like using test as a development workflow, where you basically, you can, stay, you can stay in your text editor, and you don't have to go, you don't have to move back and forward between browser and your text editor to see how things work. Because what I can do, let's say in this test, I can do, I don't know, console log, um, cache one, whatever it is, maybe give me size, right? OK. It gives me error, undefined, whatever. OK, so there is no size. So I guess there's info. Right. And the thing is that I just save the file, and I immediately see uh, in the console the result from the real browser. So I don't have to go to the browser to do these things, you know. And this is, this is really important for the workflow because you can stay in the browser, uh, sorry, in the text editor. <clears throat> the, 
One more thing that I want to mention is that there is no there's no support from text editor. Like I'm using Sublime. You can use Emacs, Vim, whatever you want. Because the only thing that the text editor in this workflow does is saving files. And I got one more thing that I want to show you, and that's debugging. Because what I can do, I can inside this code, if I want to actually use real debugger. Right? I can do this, and guess what? I can go to the browser that I have somewhere in background, and I have debugger. You know, I can watch variables, I can see call stack, I can step into functions, and this is something. This is not feature of Karma. That's just the browser has. Like most of the modern browsers, they have debuggers, so it only allows you to use that. And again, you don't need any support from the text editor to do that. If you happen to using something like WebStorm or some better IDEs, you can even configure it to do this de debugging directly from WebStorm. So you can put breakpoints and stuff, you know, and you, you even don't have to leave your IDE for debugging. Um, all right. I think that's. You know, there, there is tons of other features, like uh, it can do code coverage, it can pre-process files so that you can develop, like you can use CoffeeScript and it will compile CoffeeScript on the fly. There's a Dart plugin for, you know, testing Dart, uh, all kinds of other plugins. But I think the, the most important feature is the workflow, that you can run tests and instantly see and instantly get the feedback. That, that's the main thing. So that's what I wanted to show you. If you like it, you can go to GitHub, check it out. It's open source, so send us pull request. And as I said, I'm, we're probably running time pretty soon, so I'm not sure if we're going to have questions. But I'm going to be here today and whole tomorrow, so find me. I'm more than happy to talk to you guys about pretty much anything. Thank you, Vojta. Actually, I think we may have time for oh, cool. one question. <clears throat> I have to say I was really happy that you only typed karma start uh -huh. and you never typed karma end. I was a little worried if that was going to happen because. Ah, uh, well, yeah. I do <laughs> control C. OK, I'm trying to wake everyone up here. OK, <laughs> Okay, with that, we can take a, a live question if someone has a live question, or we can uh, go to the dory, um, or we can move ahead. OK, I got a, a question here, the, the number one question. You probably saw this actually in the UI, too. Um, it says, why was Karma renamed from Testacular? OK, I didn't expect that question at all. <laughs> uh, I don't think I want to answer this question uh, <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> but, but the good thing is that now typing Karma is way faster than Testacular. Because it's especially if you are using regular layout, keyboard layout, it's, like really, it's really easy to type. <laughs> Great. All right. Thank you. Uh, Thank you actually, very much. Can I? Um, I think I would like to. I would like to close this with uh, with a quick story. I think we have two minutes, so I can do that. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. That's what you I will. I will do it quickly. Okay. Because I'm. I'm really happy about that thing. We. Th there is a pro. There is a project called YouTube on TV. It's basically if you have PlayStation Three, there is a YouTube app, and it's written in Angular. And a few months ago. We were helping the team to debug some uh, performance issues. And I noticed that they had like 90 or uh, 100 uh, unit tests. And I was like, wow, that's not that many. And, uh, so I asked them, like, guys, why don't you write more tests? And when they showed me like, how painful it was to like, add a new test to it in, in, their, in their suit and, and how slow it was to run these tests, I was like, kind of like, OK, I understand that. And so the next week, I, I helped them to set up their environment with Karma. And we actually set it up to even run it on real PlayStation. And it was really cool, because in like a few days, maybe a week, I got an email from Tyler, one guy from the team. And he was like, Voita, this shit is awesome. Like It completely <laughs> changed our life. We test drive everything now. And believe me or not, but they after the week or something, they had over 400 unit tests. So it basically took them about a year to write 100 tests, and then they wrote another 300 tests in just a few days. You know, and the point is, 
that you know you should spend time figuring out uh, your workflow and your environment. You know, find the right tools for you. It doesn't have to be karma. Like I don't care. Use whatever works for you guys. But it's so much worth it to spend the time because once you do it, it will it will save you tons of time. Cool. So thank, that, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.